Hi guys, welcome to the video. Today we're going to be talking about the Smith & Wesson 1101 pocket knife. Now I highly recommend carrying pocket knives. They're great tools for self-defense, those life or death situations. And they're also great tools to have on hand regardless, uh, whether it be uh, opening boxes, uh, opening letters, or making a fire in the woods. They're just great tools to have, and in emergencies too, if you need to cut someone's clothes open to get to a wound, or if you need to uh, cut someone out of their seatbelt in a car crash, uh, it's great to have on you so that you don't have to scurry around for something to make that happen. Now, this knife is uh, off of Amazon for 15 bucks right now, so it's a great budget knife. We have a 3-inch blade and a just shy of 4-inch handle. And the uh, blade length, I believe, is great because Mich Michigan State uh, recommends about three inches or less. That's the, kind of the, the golden standard that they like. So you're well within the laws there. And so we're looking at a textured handle, which provides plenty of grip. So if you're talking self-defense, you want something that's uh, going to be uh, staying in your hand during the struggle, right? So this rubberized textured grip is going to be great for that. And it's also big enough. I have large-sized uh, hands if we're talking about gloves, and I can get my hand around that just fine. The action on this is not assisted, so it's not spring-assisted or bearing-assisted. Uh, however, it is just very smooth. So as you saw, I can just flick this open with the thumb studs or with the back flipper. With just a little flick, it comes open. Uh, if you don't want to deploy it so fast, if maybe you don't want to startle anyone if you're just using it for your... Uh, everyday carry, then you can still, nice and smooth, nice and slow, open it up, right? So again, I highly recommend carrying a pocket knife. They're a great tool, and it could save your life one day. All right, that's it, guys. Live courageously.